Alright, so here's the record I've been talking about on poll of the day. As you can see, it's extremely dirty. Extremely dirty. And I'm not really sure what this pink thing is. Um, yeah, as you can see, or tell, it's harder than a regular vinyl record. It feels harder, and the knocking sound is definitely indicates a harder material used for it. This thing is so dirty, I don't think it's worth anything. Like, I'm just, that's just what I think. There is no date, even with all of this copyright info and patents and shit, there is none, no date listed on here. I have a whole bunch of these, a uh, whole crate filled with them in my garage. I dated one of them that I could find on the internet, and I think it was like 1915 or something. So maybe they're worth something, but I seriously doubt it. There's no sleeves or covers with them. They're all dirty and scratched up. They all don't sound, well, this is the only one I've tried to play, but they don't really sound very well. At least this one doesn't. I assume the others are similar. I am going to play this one in a second. Uh, it runs at a speed of 78 RPMs, which I don't have a turntable that can do that, but I don't think it'll really make a difference. Just so you can hear what it sounds like, uh, even though it's not the correct speed, so it's going to sound really slow. But you can see right underneath here is a paper record entitled Sounds of the Space Age, which is like the exact opposite of this one. This one's all hard. This one's just a thin sheet of paper. But anyways, so I'm going to put this on my turntable, and we're going to take a listen to it. Let's see. The song on this one is The Wee House... The Wee Who's Mang the Heather by Wellis Elton and Louder. Harry Louder, accompaniment by Victor Orchestra. Here we go. Awarded first prize, Buffalo, St. Louis, and Portland Expositions. Wow. So apparently this is just a really cool piece of history, I guess. So, i got my Denon DP7F turntable here. I put it on there just like a regular record. It plays just like a regular record. Even though it's not the same material, it'll still play with this needle here. So let's see. The only two options for speed are 45 and 33. I'm going to keep it at 45. Uh, just because if you want it to sound anything even remotely close to what it's like, gotta play it as fast as we can. Which from 45 to 78 RPM, there is a huge difference, but anyhow, we'll see what it sounds like. Hopefully this camera picks up something. If you can hear that, but it sounds like somebody's talking right now. Let me go. Let me just put it in the middle, maybe where there's some music. Here we go. Sounds pretty good, don't it? Yeah, that's not at the correct speed. You know, for something in this old, in this condition, it doesn't sound nearly as bad as I would have expected, although it's pretty horrible. Um, so there's that. Now since I pulled this paper one out, I'll put this one on. This one is National Geographic Sounds of the Space Age. Very thin piece of paper, almost like one of those floppy disks from the 70s and 80s, one of those big floppy disks with a little film material inside. So, I'm going to put this down, and I'm going to choose the size to 7, and this one actually plays pretty well. This one isn't nearly as damaged, so, actually this one plays the 33, it's a smaller one, but... One giant leap for mankind. Neil Armstrong's first words as he steps onto the moon. Man's triumphant adventure. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to do there. Just play that one. Sounds much better than the other one. And uh, I guess that's the end of my video. So see ya.